Hello everyone, welcome back to more Solo Space Alert. Uh, the last game we played with all yellow threats and it was a breeze. So instead of just going yellows and reds, I thought I'd increase the chaos here and um, play with double actions and specializations staying on yellows. Um, that should be fun. I, I've always, I don't remember when I, when I played a solo game back in cardboard years ago, was it with double actions? I don't remember. Um, I feel like that well, well, we'll deal that out. Um, the thing with single actions solo mode is you pretty much like can always find exactly the card you want, right? If you need a blue, it's there's zillions of them. Just grab one. Um, same thing for all the actions, all the movements. There's just there's only seven things you can need, and you have so many cards that you can get any one of them. Um, ignoring the heroics you start with, of course. Uh, with double actions, that's not really true, right? You, There are some things you might want that don't exist. Like, um, you know, there's lots of blue downs and red downs, but there's no down blue if for some reason you needed that, right? Um... And I forget, like, I'm pretty sure there's, like, one C up in the deck, maybe? But no... So there's one up C, maybe no C ups? I don't really remember. Anyway, there's, there's so many different combinations of cards that you can't necessarily find the one you want. So with a full hand, like, with, with a full deck in your hand, that problem is both... Mm, enhanced and ameliorated, I guess, in that you are more likely to have the card you need in your hand, because if it exists, you have it, uh, unless you've spent it already. But also, it's really hard to find, so I don't know. I think it'll be interesting to see how that plays out. Um, also, <laughs> there's so much more chaos in double... There's, like, so many more threats coming up, right? You have to do a lot more, so... Uh, I would expect I expect I'll find this substantially more difficult than single actions all yellows. I'm gonna give it a shot. We'll see how it goes. I made the hand zone wider as well, so this down here is still useless, but this is good. Okay, what do we even have by the way? Computer specialist, special ops. Pulse Gunner, Squad Leader. Okay, let's go looking for a blue C for the Squad Leader. There's one. Time 2, Serious White. 2, Serious White. It's a Nemesis. Okay, this is great news. We can just shoot this... Uh, like an, uh, Turn 2, turn 2. So we want to shield up and shoot it twice, right? So do I have like a BC somewhere? Uh, hello? I know there are some. There's one. Let's give that to you. Actually, hang on. Yeah, because it's going to damage itself for one. So shooting it for five twice is going to work. Okay, so shielding. Two internal threat. I understand. Yes. It's an overheated reactor. So you are supposed to press. A, and then A. Now that's going to use more energy than we have, so we have to send someone downstairs with like a... Was there a down B somewhere? B down, B up, B down, B down, B... Incoming Hello? I know there is one. I can't find it. Okay, that's fine. We'll uh, send you... Downstairs like this, and then... Oh no, this is this shows up on turn two? I really need to find that down B. There it is. Time three, threat blue. It's a carrier, okay. So you... are filling us back up on two. After... So this shot is free. This one consumes energy. We're losing two of the white shields and all of the other shields. 
and the nemesis is taken care of. Next, can we get some more people downstairs? Communication system down. Answer no. Okay, so maybe Yellow can take care of the reactor by himself? B, B, B red? Right? I mean, two, three, four. So this is going to do quite a bit of damage, actually. Can anyone get down there a little bit to help? Yeah, I mean, I guess blue can go down on two, right? Internal threat. Repeat. T plus four. Internal Another threat. internal threat. It's a ninja. So if they both press B on... Three, that takes care of it. Two, three, it doesn't. Okay, so that's dealt with. Okay. Um, green needs to go. When did the ninja get here? Four. Okay, so you have plenty of time to go, like, downstairs. Okay, what? There's some external threat, isn't there? Yeah. First phase ends in one minute. I don't have a lot of people available to shoot at this. Three, uh, blah, blah, blah. Um, do I, is there a C red? Does that C blue? I mean, does that exist? I don't think it does exist. Okay, but a red B should exist, right? Or a blue B? If I give you a red down, then a C. Then somewhere in here, there's a blue B. There it is. You can accomplish all of that while also picking up the battle box. Okay. Good. Wait, when did green go downstairs? Don't send him down till three because of the overheated reactor. Okay, that's fine. This thing's a bit of a problem. Uh, I need a blue battle bot somewhere for... There's one. For blue. Red, red. This is hell. There's so much happening. Okay, so four, five, six. Okay, as long as blue just presses, like... Okay, he can press, like, battle bot C. There was one in here somewhere. All right, battle bot A is fine. Battle bot C. Okay, so he's shooting... Threat. The ninja's taken care of and hasn't done anything. He's shooting on five and rocketing on six. Is, okay, is there, is there a, an up A? Okay, that's what I'm looking for. So C... No, wait. This guy isn't in rocket range until three, four, five. Oh my god. I need to go up B. I should have... There was only one of those in the deck, wasn't there? I... Messed up by coming downstairs, I think. Okay, I'll settle for B up. Communication green. system down. Red zone's taking two damage. Um, restored. Let's get the computer and go red? That doesn't exist? It does exist. Juggernaut, this is hell. I can't get out of here. Um, do I have an up A or an A up somewhere? Up A is perfect. So just like press a a few times, please. That deals with the swarm eventually. Details to be worked out later. Data transfer. Repeat. Data transfer in five, um, four, So the rocket three, we said is being launched two, on. One. Okay, let's reverse these. Data transfer complete. Three, four, five, six. Yeah, so green presses A on six. That's going to take care. Incoming data. Repeat. Incoming data. Of this thing. 
So that's that's this dead. He can afford to repair before this happens. Really cannot handle another. Okay, that's that's fine. That won't kill us. I just need to deal with the juggernaut, and I'm fine. Juggernaut's hard, but okay, I can do this. Doesn't show up till seven. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13. Okay, we cannot dodge it. It will kill us if we don't do something. Uh, can you, like, just repair the rest of this damage, please, so that we know where, what we're working with? Great. Uh, Yellow, what are you up to? You should go upstairs. And, like... Head, head blue, so you and blue can both press A on seven, I guess. Second phase ends in 20 seconds. Where's, where's, yes, like this. So that spends an energy and the Juggernaut takes three. Can we get more energy in here from blue? Actually, Second is there an A, B? There is one somewhere five, here, okay. Four, three, so that's gonna pull. Two, one. Some energy Second into this zone. Really don't know how much. Let's just, there should be two in here. I don't know if I took any out of the white zone. I probably haven't. Okay. Uh, red can go get the computer. That's not how you do that? Red can get the computer like this. Oh, the rocket. Okay. This, I mean, this guy's going to be tough to kill, but we're going to live through it. So this set took three. If we can shoot it, do we have any way to get heroic actions? Uh, red has one, right? So prep that. Um, yellow and blue both press A, but we like... Do we want to launch rockets yet? Yeah, probably, right? So like A, C, A, C, A... And then we need an A here. Who else is upstairs? Oh fuck, it's not even red. Um, do you have a red A or a blue A? Yes. Okay, good. So that's how you're going to do the heroic A. Yellow and green are both up here. Yellow can press A on... We're shooting on all these turns, right? Yeah, 8. But not 10. Well, it doesn't matter if he does on 10. Okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, any chance we could deal with this guy? Because I'm sure we've now killed him by turn 10. Um, maybe green could play a double red and try to get over there. What turn is this thing slowing us down? 8, 9, player turn 10. So we won't really, whoever's here won't be able to act... Eight, nine, ten. If you're here on player turn at the end of player turn ten, you won't be able to act. Is there anyone else who's like free? Not really. Let's give him an A. Which is going to do two damage to this. And then go out in the interceptors, I think? C, Battlebot, Battlebot. So then 8, 9, 10. Goes out in the interceptors on 8, failing to accomplish anything. But then on 10 and 11, he's shooting. So if we can get someone to lower or upper red... 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, upper red on 12, please. Uh, so you want a double red and like an A down. And that, that ought to take care of this, right? You know, don't play an A down. Use your... Actually, I'm not 100% sure there's energy in the white zone. Like, there probably is. Um... Operation 
conversation ends in one well, minute. I can arrange that, can't I? I give red a red down, and then a B A for good measure. That ought to do it. Oh no! Don't don't press A. Yellow's doing that. How about just a B? Oops. Ah. There. I think I think that took care of everything. I don't think we died. I think we actually repaired all this damage. I didn't know what turn this came down on. No, it should be two. Why? Where's the two? Oh, it's under this. I see. Operation ends in twenty seconds. All right, done. Oh God, double actions is stressful. Okay, let's play this one out in slow motion, shall we? Which is to say, just the normal resolution around. Threats one. None. Actions one. Blue moves red down. Red presses B, shielding up. And C, getting the computer. Yellow goes downstairs and presses B, refilling the white reactor. Um, green uses one of our precious blue C's, even though he could have just pressed blue and then C, as it turns out. Damage, nothing to shoot at, no threats to move, new threats too. Internal threat, there is an overheated reactor in lower white. Mm, let's put it like that, I guess. External threats on two? Yes, the nemesis. Uh, player actions two. Blue presses C, getting the red zone battle bots. Red presses A, firing the white zone laser. Yellow presses B, working on the overheated reactor. Green does nothing. Damage. We shot for five on the white zone. This hits the nemesis for four. That's the end of all the damage, and that makes the nemesis's trigger go off. He attacks one on all zones at the end of any compute damage step in which it took damage. So that's this one. We he takes we we take damage. Uh, threats move. This threat is external, so it moves first. Its X is to attack one and then take one damage. Next up, the overheated reactor moves and does nothing. Did we get the computer? Yes. New threats, three. Uh, yes. I should look here. I should get in that habit. There's a carrier, a mini carrier in the blue zone. Anything internal? No. Actions, three. Blue presses, moves blue and then presses B, working on the overheated reactor. Red presses A again. Green, nope, yellow's next. Yellow presses B, still working on the overheated reactor. It's destroyed. The final action B knocks out players at the other reactors here and here, but there aren't any. So we have defeated it. Green, uh, it's turn three, right? Yeah. Green goes downstairs like an idiot. I don't think I wanted him downstairs. It would have been better if he just shielded up, but oh well. Damage! We shot the nemesis for five. It takes four again. That totals to nine damage, so it's destroyed, which means its trigger won't get to go off. That's all the damage. Threats move. There is one, the mini carrier. Threats four. I remember there's an internal threat. Was there something external as well? Oh, we're gonna take damage on the red zone, aren't we? I forgot about that. Uh, nothing external. Actions four. Um, blue, move, oh, right. 
I have to put the ninja token out. Blue moves blue and then battle bots. The ninja takes one damage and doesn't retaliate. Red presses C, getting the computer, and then moves red. Yellow goes back upstairs for whatever reason. I'm sure I had a plan. Green presses B, grabbing one energy, oops, not a cancer, an energy, and then goes back upstairs. I mean, the energy is not unwanted. This was not a terrible plan. Um, it would, if, I, if I'd refueled, there'd be no energy to shoot, and then we would have, would have had to refill the main reactor, and that would have been difficult, so I don't know. Make use of the tools you have. Compute damage, uh, looks like we didn't. Threats move. Who's first? Ninja's a four. This guy is a three. So he moves three and does his X. Attack two. Structural. Oh no. I didn't think about the reactor problem. Okay, hopefully that's all right. Uh, after that threat, the ninja moves. One, two. Threats four. Five. There is a swarm. Nope, that's six. Five. And no more internal threats for the rest of the mission. Actions five. Blue presses battle bot, attacking the ninja, and C launching a rocket. Red presses or goes downstairs and presses A. Yellow moves blue. Green repairs the blue zone. The repair order, I assume, is shields first, right? Well, shields before structural, yes. So preferring weapon, then preferring lift, then preferring... It says shields, but it means like energy, right? So any B button, this stuff. So... We get rid of this, but the fact that we were down to two means we do have less energy in here. So that's sad and maybe a problem. Hopefully not. Uh, okay, that was the last player action. Damage. Not shooting yet. Threats move. Uh, the this guy should go first. Then the ninja. Its X action is to send out drones to these two zones. So players moving in or out of these zones. Technically players ending their... Starting or ending their movement in these zones are punished. So with double actions you can like move through it and not be punished. But that's not going to come up. Uh, and then the swarm moves two. Did we get the computer? Yes, new threats, six, nothing. Actions, six. Blue battle bots defeating the ninja and therefore also removing the drones. And also presses A. Red. Bumps into, oh, oops, this should have gone back. Oh, hang on. We didn't compute the damage against the swarm last turn. He should have taken one. Red bumps the wall and presses A again. Um, yellow does nothing. Green presses A and bumps the wall. Damage. All right, let's look over here first. One damage at the swarm. Can only take one, so he does. Um, the rocket, I should say, is targeting the mini carrier. Together with six other damage, that's uh, nine. Whoops, zoomed out. Uh, well more than enough to kill this little guy. So, you know, blue pressing A was not necessary, but it was free, so it's fine. I mean, not free, actually. Pressing B might have been... No, because the energy wasn't used up until his... Okay. 
So that's the carrier taken care of. And I think, therefore, all the damage. Ah, oh, the rocket should be gone as well. Threats move. Uh, the only threat right now is the swarm who moves to... Oh, we're not getting... We get to kill this guy before it gets to its X. Great. Threats, seven. The Juggernaut is here. Actions, seven. Oh, Blue, you're my hero. Blue presses A and then B, filling back up. Okay. Remember I wasn't sure if there was one or two energy in here? There's friggin' zero. Great. Okay. That's fine. I didn't need it. Uh, that's blue's turn. Red presses A and moves blue. Okay. Exciting. Uh, yellow presses A, shooting. And green uses his basic action again to repair the structural damage. If I had known it was structural, I would have left it alone and tried to repair something else, but um, this was in case something was important was broken. Damage. We shot the Juggernaut for six, and also the Swarm for two, so it is defeated. But maybe more importantly, the Juggernaut takes three. Threats move. Uh, and rockets, but there aren't any. Uh, the only threat is the Juggernaut has one speed and so moves one. Threats eight, our last threat. The psionic satellite. Actions eight. Blue presses A and launches a rocket. Red goes... Oh no, did I forget to mark where Red was standing or something? I think I thought Red was getting the computer. I totally did. Okay, that should be exciting. Red goes blue, tries to press C to launch a rocket. Can't because it's already been done. Yeah, I, th I thought Red was... Like up here. I, I guess I must have forgotten. <laughs> I don't know. I just played some cards and didn't move them at all, I guess. Uh, interesting. Okay, so that was Red's turn, a blue C. Yellow presses A. I mean, we're going to be fine. Green dashes over to the red zone. Damage. We shot the Juggernaut for, I think we'll be fine. Six again. It takes three again. Yeah. Uh, threats move. Juggernaut's first, it moves one. Satellite moves two. Actions nine. Blue presses A and then C, firing the last rocket. Red prepares a heroic action, which is going to be here. Yellow presses A, firing the blue laser. And green presses A, shooting at the satellite. Damage. The rocket normally would target the psionic satellite because it's the closest threat within distance two or less. However, there's special text on the Juggernaut. Rockets always target it, ignoring other threats, even at distance three. So we're hitting it with a rocket here. The rocket targets the Juggernaut. In addition to these six damage, that's nine. We're hitting it for nine. It takes six. It's already taken six, so it is defeated, thank goodness. Meanwhile, on the red zone, we're shooting this thing for four. It takes two. Threats and rockets move. 
Did we get computer? Alas, no. So no players will be acting on turn 10. We're all delayed. And that's going to delay green by even more, sadly. But we'll be fine, I think. Actions, 10. There are none. Damage, there is some, because this rocket is hitting this guy. He takes one more. Because he has, you can't see it, but there's two shields there. <clears throat> Who knows what these snap points are, man. The, the snap points on threats are not very good. Anyway, uh, threats move. I made them, so I'm allowed to say they're not good. Um, it was confusing. So it executes its X. Players in this zone, which is green, are delayed. So they can't act on turn 11 either. Actions 11. Blue, a just-in-case A, it would seem. Oh, no, that was meant to sync up with the rocket. It was a just-in-case. I wasn't sure if all the rockets were killing it in time. Uh, red moves blue to no effect. Oh, this should have been cleaned up. And heroically presses A. Oh, but that doesn't work because... No, it shouldn't have been cleaned up. Blue just pressed this. Red tries to heroically press A, but blue's already pressed it, so no heroism occurs. Yellow moves... Oh, my God. Double red. <laughs> no, this is fine, I think. No, it's... I mean, it's a little... It's... Okay, whatever. Green is delayed. Damage. Uh, this misses. Threats move. This is closing in on us. Actions 12. Blue does nothing. Red goes red up, which he thought would get him to refill the reactor. Yellow uses the pulse gunner special action to fire this gun while also firing the pulse cannon. But because the pulse cannon is broken, this has no effect at all. We don't get to fire this gun either. Green jumps out into the interceptors. So many ways we could have killed this, but we're not doing it. Compute damage. Well, there is a guy in the interceptors targeting a single threat, so it does three damage. It has two shields, takes one more. Alas. Threats move. So it gets to its X. All players on the ship are knocked out. I don't really remember if that includes the guy in the interceptors. It doesn't really matter. We'll say it doesn't. So you guys are all knocked out, and so are your battle bots. Uh, we did survive this, however, because the ship is still working. It doesn't matter if the crew is dead. The ship jumps back home on autopilot. Compute damage. Uh, ah, this is the phase where green comes back into the ship. Threats move. We jump to hyperspace and escape. So that was a lot more stressful than single actions. There is a lot to keep in mind and come up with quickly while looking for the right cards uh, in a double actions mission. I knew that would be the case. That's you know why I played it. It seemed like it would be fun and chaotic. And my goodness, there is a lot of chaos. Um, I'm not 100% sure how I got red so badly wrong that I like I played the down A and then an A and then an A blue like I think kind of in a hurry near the end of that phase or maybe I was just in a hurry because I needed to think about other threats these were good cards to play I, I'm not mad about them at all. The problem is that I didn't move Red's pawn. I left him, I assume, in upper red, when actually these actions put him in lower white. Uh, which is fine. Him being in lower white would have been great. Would have been totally fine. He could have gone upstairs, pressed C, you know, or whatever. Or he could have come to the blue zone and launched a rocket. But I think we wanted him getting the computer, right? That was, that was the plan. Um... I don't remember if there is an up C in the deck. There might be one. There's not a lot. There's a C up. I think there's an up C, right? No, that's the one I'm always asking for. And Zephine's always like, that card doesn't exist. Did I miss it? No, there it is. There is an up C. Yeah, so he could have gone up C on eight. 
And then the whole plan that I had for him of heroic prepping and then blue A would have been totally fine. Um, we would have done a little bit of extra damage to the Juggernaut just in case. And we would have been... Yellow, let's see. Yellow's action would have succeeded because red would have refilled the reactor before yellow got there. And that means we would have killed this guy. Um, it would have been much simpler to just like press A uh, as either green or yellow because we only needed two more damage to kill the thing. But uh, I figured green might as well go out in the interceptors because someone else could shoot anyway. And that way, like, if we needed more damage than just two. Because I didn't know if the last rocket was going to hit the Juggernaut or the Psionic Satellite. I just launched a lot of rockets to make sure we killed it. So for all I knew, the Juggernaut had three HP left, in which case a simple A wouldn't kill it. Um, so that's why I added some extra sources of damage in case things were messed up somehow. Um, right, yellow trying to use the pulse gunner action to shoot for one more from downstairs and also this you know green going out into space but it didn't end up working out and i didn't need it it turned out i could have just pressed a and it all would have been fine still i'm happy with uh how i played this one um a win is a win and this is a not an easy setting i think i challenge anyone out there to like play this <laughs> space lord is kind of a hard game um, you know, you're always, you know, I I'm always happy to find new Spacer players. I've asked a few people a few times, and some have been like, oh, yeah, maybe one of these days, but no one ever actually joins us. Um, and it plays better with more players. But as you can see, it plays fine with just one. So, I don't know, get the game. It's a good game. The mini carrier, I, that feels like it was hours ago. I can't believe that was this mission. But yes, that is what we took the damage from on the blue zone. And I was pleased that I found time to squeeze in repairs with green. Uh, this downstairs, I'm still not sure. Like I said, it would have been nice to shield up against the carrier. Or even green could have gone outside, but it seemed like it was more important to be here. Manning the blue zone, because it wouldn't be that hard to kill this guy. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe jumping out into space and just flying around in the interceptors would be cool for green. But it's oh, it's so hard to keep track of what distance everything's at. Man, sorry, I'm I'm postmorteming a lot, just kind of monologuing here, which is fine, I guess. But there's just so much to talk about. So much happened in this mission. So having the perfect cards every time, kind of good. But uh, the amount of time you have is, is is just not that much. You have to do things fast, uh, and I just barely got there. So that was a fun time. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.